Hi guys, Steve up at the property. This week I'm going to finally do the brush hog. I was able to get this at Home Depot. Something like $158 for the whole day. Um, the driveway is about a third of a mile long. And I gotta do about two passes on either side. Um, I did a um, drive up with the pickup truck and to show you what I'm dealing with in the way of the bushes. I mean, this is just a small sample, but you'll see when I go through it that it's a lot. And uh, so far I'm about three quarters of the way done, but this is kind of like a really bushy area and uh, you can appreciate how good of a job this thing does. Um, this is a fairly new unit. It's a uh, Billy Goat Hydra, Hydra Outback Brush Cutter. It's a, it's got a Honda gas motor. Um, very powerful. It will cut all this stuff down, but it really doesn't chop it up. <laughs> so you're gonna have the bush just kind of like, for the most part, just laying down on the ground. So you pretty much have to clean that up too. But I just want to knock it down chop it down because uh, I got the modular home coming up. I'm sorry with all these bugs. Incredible. Um, in another month or so. So I rented this for the day and I'm running up and down the driveway and it should be done in another hour or two. Uh, I did have a little surprise when I came up this morning. Um, I was here yesterday and as I came up I was greeted by a black bear Mama Bear and her cub. I think this is pretty much the same uh, Mama Bear that's been, I've seen here a couple of times. And they used to... Oh, there goes my cat. He's not even paying it. Could be three cubs. Now there's only one, but they're older. This one's got to be a little over a year old. So maybe the other two already left, and this one's still hanging on. But um, don't usually see them here. But the, the little baby bear was heading down, probably to munch on my blueberry bushes down there, and Mama was following him. And uh, and she didn't run off or nothing. She looked at me, you know. I was coming up the driveway, she was coming the other way on the driveway, and I stopped. She looked up, she saw me, she was like, okay. And she, she just walked off the road following uh, her baby, so. Didn't think much of it. You know, usually they see, they know you're here, and you won't run across them again. So I cut the lawn up there, spent the day, I did that, I pulled that six by six, there's a video of that, and, uh, didn't think twice about it. The following morning, this morning, I go up there, and uh, you know I have my garage up there, and the, it's all boarded up. The uh, plywood I had over the windows in the garage, and the garage doors, was all pushed in. So uh, I don't, I don't think it was kids. There's been kids that walk through here. I, I see them on my trail cam, and they never touched anything. Nothing was stolen inside the garage. And to be honest with you, uh, the cub is too small to reach up to push out that plywood. And the mama bear is probably too big to fit through those windows. So I think she just went up there and trashed the place a little bit just to, just to annoy me. Not sure. Um, anyway, I'll ask my neighbor, Frank, who's got a little four-wheeler to check on it every once in a while. You know, I just don't want birds getting in there. I don't want rain getting in there. I mean, I have most of my stuff pushed away from the window, so it won't make a difference. But a little concerning. I'll let you know if I find out anything else on that. But in the meantime, let's do a short review. This is the Hydra Outback brush cutter. It's got a Honda motor on it. It says GXV390. I don't know what that means. 
it's got a it's forward gear, reverse gear, and an engagement for the cutter. Um, this is from the Home Depot, $158 a day. I don't know what it is. You can rent it for a four-hour period, but I know it's going to need the whole day. It works real simple. Oh, sorry. This is the choke. You leave it out to start it. It's already warm, so I'll leave it in. <coughs> now, this is just the, um, the throttle and off. So you just push it all the way back for off. To start it, you know, just give it a little gas. Pull this, it'll start. You engage the right to go forward, left to reverse. And you push that down to, um, to cut. And we'll go up and down both sides of this uh, driveway, this area here to the truck and back, and you can see how well it does. All right, guys, hopefully you can see me. God, this is the worst of an entire property. This is, I don't know, like 20, 30 feet long. This thing should be able to cut the whole thing pretty easily. So, let's give it a shot. Yeah, it's still a lot of work. It's a big, heavy machine. But, uh, rip this thing. <coughs> rip this thing to shreds. All right, I wanted to show you how it worked. Um, I think it's a great machine. It's still uh, quite the workout. This is just what the doctor ordered to clean up my mess. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up, and uh, when I'm done, uh, 
we'll do another drive up and down the driveway so you can see the difference of uh, before and after and then I'll do a little summary at the end thanks guys Here is where the turn in for the driveway will be and right in there is where the build site will be.